Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips, Action Idol Parts. Well, I got another new one in today. Uh, it looks good from this side. <laughs> it's a Dodge Dakota. And really, it looks like it was probably a pretty sharp little old truck. Got a little bit of uh, rust right in there, uh, but not a lot. Uh, we just got it in late today, so I hadn't even had a chance to get it um, in the bed or nothing cleaned out yet. But tailgate looks good the bumper not much but uh this side here has got more of the rust showing in the bed but i mean it could probably be fixed if someone needed a, a bed for one pretty easy it's got the pretty decent tires and wheels on it but uh yeah they they kind of made contact with a tree and so uh it did not get into the motor it's got the three seven in it and uh so i made sure of that and so peg finally got the hood where it would open up a little bit today we're probably going to try to tomorrow ease it up on the row back and chain it down to the back of the bed and then take the uh, winch and hook it onto some stuff and try to pull it out so we can get the fan and stuff out of it uh that would probably be the easiest not having to be yanking on it a bunch but uh, miraculously, that headlight didn't get busted and the fender. But uh, it's still got trash and stuff in it, so I haven't uh, had, a, had a chance to clean it out yet. Of course, naturally, the airbag's blue on it. Let's see if I can get this door enough room. So probably tomorrow, we'll try to get all the trash and stuff out of it and uh, get it cleaned out so that... Uh, we can get her processed so to speak and uh yeah go from there i'm actually going to take some uh how about how some pictures here just in a little bit so i can list it tonight but uh it's uh, i forgot to look at the year i think it's 07 i believe is what it is i forgot to look again when i had the door open but uh just got it in today and dropped off. It was late, later this afternoon. And I've got to stop. I'm going to go to the house here in a minute. i got to stop out the road and finish paying for that building that I've got bought. And if I can get it lined up, to, I think they're going to try to have it cleaned out tomorrow, uh, what they want to get out of it. And then I'll see if I can't get it moved out here and probably going to stick it right over there. And uh, it's got to have a new roof and stuff on it. But it's going to make a good, good storage building. So there it is. Uh, like I said, I bet that was kind of for its age. Still a pretty sharp looking truck, but the tree took it out. And kind of in on that same deal that I bought from Pittman on the truck, he had gotten in on a bunch of uh, new radiators. Uh, I think the biggest one here one of them's like a Chevy truck. Uh, I think it's this one here. It's actually for my Geo Metro, if I needed one. So I'm gonna get home and get these unloaded and uh, Google the part numbers and then take a sharp and right on the box, what they uh, go to. And then I'll try to get those listed uh, and see if I can't start selling some of that stuff and start getting my money back on them. But, uh, so some car parts. Can't quit yawning and I apologize. This heat just jerks the sap out of me. Um, sold a few car parts today and bought that truck. And then like I said, bought these radiators and stuff. But I had a weird situation. I had a guy uh, a couple weeks ago. He had hit me up on the, um, the hood on the 2000 uh, Dodge Extended Cab 4-wheel drive truck that I'd gotten in. And so I priced it and he offered me a little bit more monies if I would hold it to the first of the month. I said, dude, I can't do that because we're two weeks out, um, you know, unless you want to pay me a deposit. But, you know, there's a good chance it could be there. It may not. So anyway, I kind of forgot about it. And he messaged me last night and he says, hey, do you still got the hood? And uh, me and the wife was out here. So I drive up on the hill, snap a picture, show him I got it sent it to him he said great i will see you in the morning and i can't remember where he was coming from but anyway he uh he he 
tells me he's going to be here like when I open. So it's 1030-ish on the upswing, maybe of 11. And uh, he calls me and says, I'm at uh, O'Reilly's in Stanford. Where are you at from here? And so I sent him my live location, thinking that might help, and the address. And uh, But I was like, but here's what you got to do. And very, very simple. Pull out of O'Reilly's on the Highway 27, go south about three mile, turn right on 698. So I said, here's what you do. And you get 698, just call me. Okay. And it goes 15, 20 minutes. He calls me and says, I'm on Main Street in Stanford. Where are you at from here? And I said, why are you on Main Street? There was nothing in my directions said anything about going to Main Street. Uh, get back out on 27. Go a couple miles, Highway 698, just turn right. And when you get there, call me. And I can tell you exactly how how far it is to get to the road that I'm on. And so it goes a pretty good bit. And I didn't know this until Anthony had delivered to Dakota. He had pulled in at Anthony's garage down there and says, well, I'm here to get this hood. Never even told him I was on 27. Never got on 698. And Anthony's like, you can't get a hold of Jamie Phillips, are you? Yeah. Well, here's what you do. And 698 literally is right behind Anthony's garage. 27 in the front, 698 in the back. He said, get on that road, a couple miles up top of the hill, you turn. So it goes a little bit, and I called him. I said, have you made it to 698 yet? And, and literally, he said, well, we was on it, but we just drove past a landfield, and it's on my left. And I said, stop. The landfield is four-tenths of a mile from me on the opposite side. So turn around and come back. And if the landfield is on your right, I'm the next driveway on the left. Oh, well, that's easy enough. I'll see you in a couple minutes. I bet 30 minutes goes by. He calls me and says, we're at a big church down here, blah, blah, blah. And I said, dude, there's not a church on my road. So I try to figure out where he's at. I try to give him directions again. And... He said, okay, I think I know how to find you. He, he still yet to show up. I tried calling, and they would say, hello, and then it would go off. Uh, then it would say they didn't have a voicemail set up. So I sent him a text and a message on Messenger. I was like, are y'all lost? Are you okay? And he finally read the message on Messenger, but he never answered me back. And that's so weird. I mean, I think they drove maybe like an hour and was within probably, if they drove and the landfill was on the left, they drove right by here. And I said, dude, you can see my rollback and some cars, American flag, all this stuff. And he said, yeah, we'll be right there. So that was kind of a weird thing that happened to me today. But anyway, uh, all that said and done, I'm gonna head to out the road, stop and pay Della the rest of the money on the building, go home and unload these in the garage or go in and cool off and then maybe come back out and unload them. And I'm going to take pictures before I leave of that truck and get it listed. So maybe I can start selling some parts off of it. Hope you had a great day. And I would like to ask you to please consider giving me a thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next one.